I'm Sarah Ashley and welcome to Salt House Headquarters. I mean, my sweet digs. Before you come in, make sure and subscribe. Okay, let's go. I live here with my fiance, Jared, and we're in Brooklyn, New York. So we're right on the border between the neighborhoods of Borum Hill, Cobble Hill, and Carroll Gardens. We pay $46.75 in rent, which is a lot, but if you know the New York City marketplace, we actually are getting a lot of value for what we're paying. So we live in a duplex, so there's two different levels. There's one bedroom, two and a half bathrooms, and we also have an amazing outdoor space that has two levels as well. Here's the kitchen. This used to be the least favorite room in the apartment, but I've made a lot of changes to it. I actually changed the look of all these counters. They're not really marble. This is all done with contact paper. And then we also did something similar with the cabinets, which are fine. They're just a wood darker cabinet, but in order to sort of brighten everything up, I put this wallpaper on it. Also the open pantry and the spice rack, both of those sort of speak to form and function because they're both really beautiful to look at, but it also creates so much more storage space, which I'm definitely lacking. Everything looks super neat and organized, but if you guys were to take a peek into some of my drawers and cabinets, you would not see such a pretty picture. So I too caught the Marie Kondo bug and just took everything out threw away everything that was already expired or just things that I honestly wasn't using that much. It's made every part about being in my kitchen such a better experience. I feel like our environment impacts the way that we feel so much. And if I want to feel inspired to cook, then I need to be in a space that I love. I was on the first season of a TV show called The Taste that was on ABC, and it was a competitive cooking show, and it was a super fun experience. I learned a ton, and that led me to move to New York City and start my company, Salt House, which is a lifestyle brand all about helping people tap into their own creativity and find more joy in everyday living. I think that my favorite thing to cook is a perfectly roasted chicken, just because it's so easy to do. So I always like to recommend that for beginners because it's a really great way to build confidence in the kitchen. And even if you ask top chefs, that's often their answer is just a perfectly simple roasted chicken. And this is the dining room. I really love this table. It has this really beautiful copper base and it's also very special to me. Every week I like to do a little date night, Jared and I, so I'll cook a special dinner for us. And towards the end of the meal, he always kind of just motions over and I always go and sit on his lap for a little bit and that's actually where we got engaged. I also really love to collect dishware, all different kinds of plates and serving bowls. So I needed a place to put everything. So I think this Ikea piece is really great because it, it has so much storage space and I love that it displays as well as has the drawers that you can pull out so you can store stuff in there too. Another feature about this room that I love is the Lucite bar cart. It's locally made and available on our website, salthousenyc.com. And it's really cool that we have a bar upstairs and downstairs. And this is the bedroom. This bed is definitely the centerpiece of the room. I knew that I wanted a canopy bed when we were moving in here, and Jared actually was not into the idea at first, but I convinced him and he ended up loving it. I got these nightstands, which were a little bit of a challenge to find just because the bed is so high, and most nightstands today are built pretty low. Initially, I was gonna get the dresser that matched these nightstands, but it ended up coming damaged, and it was gonna be months to get another one, so I picked out this black dresser, and I actually ended up liking it so much more just because I don't typically love the matchy-matchy look. We have a no screens policy for the most part in the bedroom, we don't have a TV, and I definitely try to avoid being on my phone. Jared and I met because he was my lawyer. He was starting my business for me when I was starting my LLC, and yeah, I guess you could say I was definitely his favorite client. When we were moving in together, this was his first time moving in with a girlfriend, and he was definitely having a little bit of an identity crisis because I was just getting rid of all of his stuff. He ended up trusting me, he loves my aesthetic, so rest in peace to Jared's old stuff. This is our master bathroom, which is one of three. We have another one on this floor, which has a little tiny tub in it, and then there's another half bath downstairs. All the bathrooms pretty much look the same, so to spice things up, definitely into some accessorizing. I got this fun rug from Urban Outfitters, and then a little pop of color in the towels from H&M, and like this little soap dish, which is a bracelet that I wouldn't actually wear, but it just kind of worked under this gemstone soap. This is the living room. 
I had a huge laundry list of all these things I wanted in a place. I wanted two levels and stairs and tons of natural light and an outdoor space and all these things. Jared's dad thought that I was totally nuts and he was like, there's no way that you're gonna find an apartment with all those things. And I have to say, we hit almost all the boxes. The only thing that I want in my next place is a fireplace. The first thing that I did when we moved in was painted this wall blue, just because I knew that it would be an accent sort of focal piece for the room. And then I wanted to create a gallery wall on top of that. It's really interesting, I think, to create your own art for a gallery wall. It's a way that you can do it a little bit more affordably, and you can also tailor pieces in that way to match the aesthetic of your space. My favorite splurge item is definitely this sectional sofa. It's made by a maker named Kristen Drohan and it's just so deep and comfortable. Sometimes sofas are really beautiful but you do not want to sit on them for an extended period of time and this one you do. The bar underneath the stairwell is also one of my favorite pieces. I knew I wanted to utilize the space underneath the stairs. We love entertaining so it's great having this down here. And behind it is my home office. Truly being at home is one of my favorite ways to be inspired and that's why I feel like having an environment that really lights you up is so important. I've even found a way to turn this little corner of my home into a miniature art studio. So I have my easel and so many different art supplies. Cooking was my first love and from there I went into home decorating and later on I got into painting and I realized they were all just methods of expressing myself through creativity. I love painting in particular because I feel like it's a way that I can truly turn my mind off and really get into the present moment, even more so for me than with cooking. I really think that the home is one of the most powerful ways that we can find more joy in our lives. Just waking up in a space that feels inspiring to me, something that really reflects who I am, it's something that brings me so much joy. Thanks so much for watching My Sweet Digs. If you want to watch more videos, head over here and to subscribe, click here.